One of the lesser known events at Ice Alaska is the Clarence and Francis G. Beers Youth Ice Sculpting Classic. This is open to young people of junior high and high school age and takes place during their spring break from school. And while there is no entry fee required, there is a mandatory safety class for each participant with an optional ice sculpting class. Each team gets five days to complete their piece and they're in the midst of doing that now. So let's go in and take a look and see how they're doing. Uh, my name's Kaylee Dollard and I go to Pearl Creek Elementary School. Okay. And how long have you been carving ice? Um, this is my first time. <laughs> cool. It's, and how about you? My name's Alea Brenti. I am 11 years old and I am homeschooled. And this is my second time carving ice. Second time carving. Did you carve uh, in the open last year? Um, no, I got a lesson from Julio. Oh, okay, great. Julio's a good teacher. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so tell me what it is you, uh, what's your project here? Well, we carved a moose antler with a fox standing inside of it. Mm hmm So, she did the fox and I did the uh, antler. Cool. Well, let me take a look at it here with the... Right here. So we got the antler and then we got the fox in there. So what inspired this? Did you see this? Um, yeah, actually well, I uh, submitted my your drawing form, my form, to uh, make an antler because my dad found a moose shed in the woods and it's hanging in the living room. So that's where I got my idea for doing a moose antler. And, and then, then she played on my hockey, um, the hockey team yeah. that we both played yeah. on. So we decided to put a fox in it because she liked fox and I like the real fox. So we did the yeah. Well, good job. That's fantastic for uh, for your first year. Well, thank you very much. Yep. My name is Joseph Plett. I go to Star of the North at North Pole off of Badger, wherever mm -hmm. in. Our piece is just, I don't know, it swan. just, a swan, yeah, a swan. And it just, I don't know, what inspired us to do this is because it looked like a cool idea to carve ice, and we've seen a whole bunch of people carving ice, and we're like, oh, it looks cool, it looks like a good idea. So, our masterpiece, <laughs> first one. you can tell, it's it's first, the masterpiece, first but... masterpiece. Well, you did an excellent job, you guys. Why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, my name is Jedediah, and I'm in ninth grade. I also go to Star of the North. And they brought it to our school, and we turned in applications for it, and they just said that whoever wants to do it could. And we thought, why not? And so what do you think of that experience? Is it can't replace it. Yeah. It's a good experience. want to do everything. Uh -huh. Say you made a nice sculpture, the swan, take a picture of it, prove it. Just uh, You ever think of um, going on to the uh, championships? And It's kind of fun, yeah. I, I would if I was good enough. Me too. This is quite uh, impressive. So have you, and you've never carved ice before? Nope. Nope. Our first one was on Sunday. We made a little tiny one. Uh -huh. Sort of to practice. Use, that was the first time we ever used chisels. So, so you took Julio's fun. class, or yeah, yeah. yeah. And then we just kind of learned how to use the chisels. I think we're just naturals. We made this. <laughs> I think you are too. <laughs> it's time. Is it on? It is. Oh, okay. Um, I, I'm Marina, and I go to the Watershed Charter School, as does... Um, I'm Anna Marie, and I go to the Watershed School, and I got introduced to this youth competition, youth classic competition, um, when I was coming here with my parents, who were sculpting, and I had signed up thinking that I'd do it by myself at first, 
but then I realized, well, maybe I should have a partner. And so then that's when she Obviously came along. Me. <laughs> and so what is the name of your piece and, it ha and what's so the inspiration The name of our piece is Social Network and it's just to sort of show we have here all of the different social networking apps that are in um, websites that you can now go to on your computer and they're just supposed to with the branches it's supposed to represent how they all sort of connect you to one common source which would be the computer at the bottom and then the birds are just supposed to represent the people which are all connected using these different networking sites. What an idea! That's great! So this is your first year ever picking up a chisel and carving ice, huh? Yep. So what do you think of that experience? Amazing. I, yeah, I mean, I thought it was pretty fun. It was really nice to know that you are able to take an idea of yours and carve it into ice and kind of see it come to life once you carve it. Yeah, so. it's quite nice to sort of be able to be before this I would look at a piece of ice and I go oh that is a nice piece of ice there mm. but now like I've sort of learned to be able to see something more like a, a, you know, a bug or anything that you would want inside of the ice. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's great so what, what do you, have you thought about going on to the to the uh, Fairbanks Open and maybe on I, higher up? I would want to do it next year and the year after that and until I think this is available until, until you're out of high school. It is. So I would like to do it until then and then perhaps the adult one or the amateur probably. Yeah. Well, if you do this every year, you'll certainly be prepared. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thanks, ladies. You're welcome. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. My name is Tana Timling. I'm from the Watershed Charter School. Um, I was inspired to carve ice because my parents they also they do ice carving and I thought it would be interesting to try it out so how, how has that experience been so far it's been really fun yeah yeah so do you think you'll be an ice carver you think you'll do it again next year sure so do you uh, you want to be an ice carver and get into the professionals or the uh, the championships um Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, okay, so this is a Stargate. It's from a sci-fi show called Stargate. And basically what it is, it is this device that opens a wormhole so you can transport yourself between different places. Uh-huh. And yeah, and then here's a dialing device that kind of activates it in the directory you want to go. It doesn't work, but it's ice. So. so you're a big Stargate fan, huh? Yeah. Well, this is an abstract design that I made in ceramics last year, and just kind of with a ball with squares on it, with tentacles coming out of a base, to make a cool design. And a tribute. And it's a tribute to my ceramics teacher who passed away last summer mm. before I could have ceramics with him again. So I named it, Thank You Mr. Jones, that was, that was his name. So what inspired you to come carve ice? Well, I did it three years ago and really liked it, but never had time to until now again. So, and I always came here when I was younger and really liked looking at them and always thought it'd be cool to do one of my own. That's great. So why don't you introduce yourself and tell me what school you go to. I'm Grant Ackerman and I'm a sophomore at West Valley. I'm Josh Lundy and I go to Hutchison High School. Okay. And I'm Anand and I go to Lathrop High School. Mm -hmm. I carved all four years of high school in the competition. And great. I started with my uh, sophomore year and doing three years about now. So the angelfish was your first piece of it, I understand? That was, yeah. That was what, three years ago? Yeah, that was, yeah, that was like three years ago. Yeah. That's so Jeremy and him made uh, dolphins. The dolphin, that's right. Yeah, uh -huh. and uh, we won. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so the competition was really tough last year, It was huh? tough. Yeah, it was pretty stiff. Yeah, yeah. Doggy yeah. dog, or, yeah. or fish eat fish in, in, in which case. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So, are, are you thinking about uh, continuing on to the championships? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Next year. That's great. Single block. Next year. Yeah. 
Well, you obviously have the talent for it, so uh, good luck to you. I am Jamie Logan, and I go to Monroe Catholic High School. And what inspired you to come carve ice? I always thought that it'd be really fun, and living here in Fairbanks my whole life, I've always seen it. I've always camped, come to the ice park, and my partner Jarrell here, he's done it before, and so we just kind of start talking about doing this on a team, and it's the first time I've ever done this, and I really like it. So you think you'll come back next year then? Definitely. Definitely. I'm having All a right. really good time. So uh, what do you think? Uh, uh, I start championships in your future? I, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Well, you uh, it looks like you have potential, so uh, I Thank certainly you. wouldn't write it off. I won't. I definitely won't. I'll keep uh, it in my mind. Okay. And your partner? Is, does he go to the same school you do? Yes, no. yeah. <laughs> He's hiding from me. <laughs> yeah, a little bit last minute. Stuff. Okay. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for talking to me. Thank you. I'm Jordan Terrio, and I go to Monroe Catholic High School. And what inspired you to come carve ice? Um, well, I've, you know, I've heard about it all year, and my art teacher told me about it. She said it would be really fun and a, a good experience, so I just, she talked me into it. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So how was the experience? What do you think? Uh, it was... Uh, it was a lot more fun than I thought it would be. It was actually a really good time. I enjoyed the people that I worked with, the people that taught me everything. Um, it was, it's like a good community feel. Everyone got along well, really well. Yeah, it's like a big family here, huh? Yeah, and it was really fun. Everyone helps everyone. Yeah, it is. Well, what do you think about uh, your future? Do you see uh, ice art championships in your future? Um, maybe. I mean, I'm definitely interested in art in general, going to school for art, hopefully. So, um, yeah, definitely. This is really fun, and I'd, lo I'd love to do it again. Yeah, okay. Well, tell, tell me a little about your piece and what inspired your piece. Where'd you get your idea from? Um, well, I had kind of, I've done pieces based around seahorses before. I really like seahorses. I think they look very pretty. And, um, you know, I've never seen a seahorse ice sculpture before, so I thought I'd try something new and unique. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to photograph your piece a little bit. And okay. uh, thank you for the interview. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I'm Scott Jacobs. I go to West Valley High School and I'm 15 years old. Well, I'm Darren Johnson. I go to Monroe. We did a truck. It was supposed to look like totally different than this, but if we did it the way that we're planning to, I don't really think it would have looked as good as it came out as it is right now. And then I think the inspiration for my the truck that we made was uh, I worked at a trucking company for about two years, and then uh, I was told that I could have a partner for. Um, for it, so I asked my cousin, uh -huh. and uh, so he came and, yeah, he was right, the truck looked totally different than how it was going to look. It was going to look a lot longer, but it, was, it shortened a lot. <laughs> Smaller yeah. piece of ice, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it, was, it was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So, uh, uh, what do you think? Do you think, uh, is this your first year of carving? Yeah, it's my first year. Uh -huh. I think it turned out super good. Yeah. A lot and better than uh, I thought it would. <laughs> So, uh, is it uh, inspired you enough to come back next year? Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't be able to compete in the youth competition because uh, I'm graduating this year. So I'd have to go to the amateur. There's the, the Fairbanks Amateur Open. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you should do that. Yeah, it's really fun. Uh-huh. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks for talking to me. Well, there you have it, folks. There is some real talent here with these young people. In a few hours, the award ceremony starts, and we'll see who the winners are as they receive cash prizes and medals. So until then, I'm Steve Iverson at the George Horner Ice Art Park in Fairbanks, Alaska. See you there.